Come on. This is Mjolnir. Only the worthy can lift it. Let's call this meeting to order. No, let's not use that. Welcome to the Municipal Atrium. This is a space that we like to think about as Calgary's living room. Uh, we have plans to make the atrium much more of a living room over time. But of course, because of budget constraints, things like that take place slowly. In the center of Calgary's living room, the Municipal Atrium, is the council chamber. Should we go inside and see what happens in there? Council chamber is split into two halves. On this half, you have the public side, and it's called the gallery. And upstairs, you have the media booths. Uh, during non-COVID times, every council meeting, which is conducted in public, takes place here, and the public is welcome. There are security protocols, uh, just to make sure everyone's safe. There is water provided for citizens. Uh, and oftentimes right here, you'll have a, a, an array of cameras set up, especially if council is discussing a heated topic. Heated topic include, but are not limited to residential property taxes, non-residential property taxes, the bottom line, green line, blue line, mean line, fluoride, car rides, cycle tracks, and weed wax. Council meetings may cause heartburn, nausea, dizziness. Palpitations. If you're experiencing any symptoms, please call 311 or visit our website to learn more. Please watch responsibly. When members of the public present to City Council, or when there is a special award or recognition that uh, is given, this is the area in which it takes place during public hearings or times when uh, public submissions are received by council or committee, uh, people will sit in the gallery and either wait their turn or they will line up on the front couple of seats or there will be a sign-up sheet if it's a really busy issue and uh, people come out. This is an accessible table. It sizes itself to people's heights when it's turned on and uh, it's really special when members of the public uh, take time out of their busy schedules to present to council and committee on issues that matter to them. During non-COVID times, council assembles here and the mayor sits right here. This is the chairman's seat. When a committee meeting is being held in this seat, it's not the mayor who sits here, but the chairman of or the chair of that particular committee. Uh, during a council meeting, to the mayor's left, the city solicitor sits, and to the mayor's right, the city councilor sits. During a public hearing of council, the city solicitor is replaced with the chief planning lawyer, and the uh, city manager is replaced with the chief planner. As I said, during non-COVID times, council sits in assigned seating around the horseshoe, or we also call it the cul-de-sac particularly if we're annoyed with how things are going. Um, obviously during COVID times, meetings are now conducted remotely and we've had a really successful time integrating both in-person presentations with people uh, phoning in remotely. Uh, I'm very proud to have chaired two significant meetings which sort of broke the barrier in terms of our ability to conduct meetings remotely. The first one was our three-day uh, our three-day meeting in which we debated the uh, bylaw to ban conversion therapy. And that was a three-day hearing. And based on the strength of that, we knew we would have the ability to conduct a meaningful inquiry into systemic racism, which took place a couple months later last spring. Um, what we expect going forward is that our ability to work remotely will make it easier for citizens to access the meeting and easier for members of council to participate in all meetings, even if they have to be away on other council business. During non-COVID times, this is where my assigned seat is. Um, when I was first elected, uh, people from different wards sat in the same seat uh, according to the lots they drew when this room was opened in the early 90s. 
Um, since then, our council has determined that it's probably healthier to mix it up a bit. And so this is the third place that I've sat in my 10 years on council. And during non-COVID times, we expect council to shift their seats almost every year. This bank of chairs uh, during a council meeting is reserved for the general managers. The city manager, who's the CEO of the corporation of the city of Calgary, sits next to the mayor who chairs the meeting. And the vice presidents are the general managers and they look after all the different departments. This is where they sit during a uh, council meeting and during a public hearing, they vacate the spot and go back and do their work and monitor the meeting remotely. And this is where uh, different presenters present. During COVID times, this is also where presenters who have to be present meet. And you know, I'm the chair of Community and Protective Services. Uh, the acting uh, general manager for Community and Protective Services is Ms. Katie Black. She no longer sits right next to me when I'm chairing the meeting at the chair. She will sit here when she's physically present in the chamber and help conduct things from here. This is where the clerks who run the meeting sit. And uh, let me tell you, there is no meeting that can in any way proceed without the support of the clerks. In addition to our clerks, this is where the team that runs the audio visual for the, for the meetings uh, sits. That's never been more important than now during COVID times. And I have to say that the unofficial leader of our AV club is the mayor. So that concludes our tour of Calgary Council Chambers. Uh, I would like to add a couple personal notes. The first one is that I've been very privileged over the last couple of years to participate in She Governs. I think it's such an incredibly important thing to really open up the mystery of our city government to young people, especially young women, our future leaders. Uh, I'm sorry that we haven't been able to do this in person, uh, but I am super excited in your interest about your municipal government. And I can't tell you how excited I am to one day see you in chambers, either as an elected representative or as a senior administrator here at the city of Calgary, representing the best interests of our citizens and our incredible city.